Today we embark on a very ambitious video series. One of the most requested, um, I guess, things that comes in through the comments from subscribers is, can you do more videos on how to properly set up a shop? How to figure it? How to, what tools to get? Where to spend my money? How to light it? All of those things. And today I'm going to do that to my wood shop. I have been working in here for five years and it has always been kind of just getting by, making do. There were other things, other priorities on the homestead that I didn't have uh, the time or resources to dedicate to this. But this is an important room to me because I spend, well, probably film a good third, maybe 40% of my videos in here. Lighting has always been really bad. Uh, the way I've had space laid out has always been very challenging and difficult. That is all going to change today. So we're going to cover lighting, we're going to cover insulation, how to set up the tools. The shop that we're going to be working on, this my little wood shop here, measure 16 feet by 17 feet. So it's not very big, so being efficient and having things stored in a way that we need them is really important. And I think this is gonna have a really broad reach because I'm not gonna set this up to be strictly a traditional woodworking shop. What I want it to be is I want it to be a heated area, an area that I can come in in any weather, any climate. Jack and I, we can clean guns in here, we can sharpen uh, kitchen knives, we can uh, do woodworking projects, we can have small repairs, home appliances. So a real broad range of things, having everything in one spot in, a, in an area that uh, has everything you need. So you're not running around in all the frustration. So I'm really looking, look, looking forward to it. Um, we, Jack and I went to Home De Depot yesterday and we picked up everything for the ceiling. We're going to start on the ceiling and that means insulating it. Pan we're going to do a really cool, fairly inexpensive wood paneled ceiling so it looks kind of like a, a, like a fake box beam and LED uh, 8 foot strip lights. So we're going to have great light in here that's going to snap on immediately regardless of the cold weather and all of that. So. Let's get started. It's, it's, we're going to get started by kind of clearing things out and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll hit the wiring and the insulation. I spy something. What's that? Are those my Are those my traction devices? They are. Why are they on your shoes? Because I've been out. <laughs> I would not go in the forest today. <laughs> that whole about 50 pounds of ice just crashed down right there off the maple tree. So do we need to get some off our maple tree? No. There's nothing, nothing, nothing that could be done. Okay. So we had um, we had a amazing ice storm. We woke up this morning to almost a solid inch of solid ice over everything. I mean, you could not walk. That's why I took your shoe spike. <laughs> you couldn't walk out here. Everything was covered. So, uh, so yeah. So, I mean, all the highways are, are shut down. Uh, isn't that what you're telling me? Yeah. Everything's shut down. So, you know, we, we kind of anticipated this. So we imagine we're going to lose our power for any time now. Yep. We're ready. But so I uh, yes so yesterday come on up can you can you navigate on the ice? Uh, I don't know if I can film and walk at the same time, baby. Oh, it's just right over here. I'll see what I can do. Okay.
Got my boots on. I'm coming, but I'm, I'm trying to hold on to things as I approach. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. This is, even with these spikes, I, I, I still have to. I really should have my snowshoes, but I'm going in and out, in and out. Be like a cat. Uh, crampons might be better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so uh, Jack and I went to, uh, picked up supplies yesterday. So what we have here is we've got, uh, this is two inch rigid insulation. So one thing that's happening in the shop is that all of my hand planes and saws and things that I restore are, are just, they're rusting. There's nothing I can do. Even when I put oil on them, it's just so humid in there because it hasn't been heated. So the walls fortunately are, are all insulated because I think the previous tenants used it as like a kid's bedroom or something I don't know but the ceiling's not and that's the most important part so we've got the two inch rigid insulation we're gonna put that on now I got a really good deal on AC plywood uh, for the ceiling so we'll do like a like a fake box beam type of thing conduits and then these are the LED strip lights which are real have you seen these Maybe? no so these are LEDs eight feet long I think they're two tubes and they are really bright. And that's, all of this is gonna be much more energy efficient. And have you explained why you need those lights? Yeah, for photography and like the, when I was doing the last video in the shop, I had to wait three hours for the ballast to come on because it was so cold. And not particularly convenient, huh? No, so we're putting the forks on the tractor. Um, uh, Mrs. W is gonna help me unload this because it's stuff's getting kind of wet and then we'll take it in the shop and then we'll get started on the insulation. Who's getting everything ready there? And I've decided that I'm going to get everything ready here. Wow, ice is just sliding everywhere. So if you don't have your normal traction devices, go ahead and put some of these on. Although I might have them on the wrong feet. <laughs> or if your husband Oops. has them on. Or if your hubby has them on. Maybe we should order them. Order another pair. If we're I think I think they're like seven dollars on Amazon, so I, I, they they won't break the bank. Let's see, hospital deductible seven dollars. <laughs> I know Jack said he wanted to go sledding, and I, I told him that he should wear his dirt bike gear and uh, helmet. Oh, boy, no, <laughs> and I wasn't kidding. <laughs> I mean, it's some some serious pain out here today if he does that. Are you sure you don't want me to help you, babe? I know you married me because I'm super strong. You're helping. You're videoing. <laughs> Did I tell you what I got this AC for? I think it was like a $24 a sheet for three quarters. That's great. It's seconds. It's got a few little blemishes on it, but it's pretty good. The Home Depot was 40 39 something. I guess. What'd you just see? Did you see that? No, I missed it. Just huge sheets of ice coming off the conifers. We might have to get Jack inside, huh? Yeah. No, well, just... Jack, don't get underneath any trees. Okay, I want, I want to say something here. What's that? This video is going to drive you crazy because the wood is at an angle, but you're straight. So like, I'm not holding the camera, camera asymmetrically, which would fry your noggin. We're on the side of a hill. <laughs> I was trying to get out from the tree, and I slipped and I fell on my elbow. Yeah. Right on a big old lump of, of ice. Yeah. It's not very forgiving. Where's your helmet? You I, thought you I, thought I, I was kidding, but I wasn't. Ooh, something's coming down. How long until the power goes out, babe? How long before the power goes out? Yeah. Any moment. Um, that does not make me want to stand under this tree. It is gorgeous, as you can see from the ice, but it is also really heavy. And as the temperatures are rising, the ice is falling off the trees, and we just know that the power lines will likely go down. Power is starting to go down. You can see reports on Facebook. And it's not even windy. Can you imagine if it was windy? Oh! 
Uh, baby. I was just standing right there. What? I was just standing right there. I know. I'm glad you moved. But I want to move now. Let's get the dogs in. And let's get Jack in. Jack? I think you went in. Well, let's make sure. Enjoy the power. It won't be on for long. You got the generator ready? I've got two generators ready. Okay. Uh, do you want to move your truck from underneath here? I will. Let me unload it first. So I've got my snowshoes on. He's got the things you need that'll get destroyed, left out. Fortunately, the dogs stay close to me, and since I'm not by the roofs or trees, they, uh, neither are they. But they will be going inside any minute now with me. Boy, that is slippery. Do you want me to help you unload, babe? If you don't mind. Okay. Will do. Are you suffering? Oh, come on. Let's go inside, inside. Whoa. Yeah, come on, Luce. Let's go inside. Come on. Good girl. It literally sounds like a war zone out in the forest. Yeah, there is just just it's just crashing and crashing. Constant roar of crashing limbs. Ooh, yeah. I have. It's time to go inside. I have never heard anything like this before. Not to, not to this level. It makes me um, really glad that we've cleared the trees around from around the house. I got your car stuck today. You want something to do? You like to shovel, right? Yeah. There's no place to hook onto it with a tractor, so I have to shovel it out. Okay, I'll shovel it out. Uh, do you want the two by fours or the lights first, or what do you want? I'll take the lights first. What's the easiest? The edge. I don't think it was, what, 10 minutes before I said we'd probably lose our power. The power went out. That's right. So we're getting ready to hook up the generator. I tried, uh, we've got a Honda, uh, the, our big one, we have a, a 5KW, a 240. So uh, I've got a kind of a plug system I wired up. Um, I'll show you, we'll go down in the basement and show you how that works. Uh, you can do this yourself too if you have a generator. It's a better way than uh, running 15 extension cords all over through your house and the door's not closing when it's cold. So. Uh, it's so slippery I can't get the generator uh, across the, the driveway, so we're going to sling it. Honda guys think of everything, and they even put a sling loop. I think it might be an optional thing, but a sling, sling loop so you can uh, pick it with a tractor or crane. And is that what it's supposed to be for? It is. I think that's my key to go and unhook it. <laughs>
So we uh, are losing a ton of snow that's like crack, snapple, pop. I think I said that wrong. Crack, snap, pop? Crack, snapple? How's it go? I don't know. We were a Cheerios family. <laughs> snap, crackle, pop. There you go. Get as far away from the house as possible. So why are you uh, not leaving this in the barn? Uh, well, it takes a really big uh, electrical cable to power the house, and the one we ha I want to have is only uh, 25 feet long. So that's why. No, oh, that's good. Okay, you ready? So now it seems to be raining again. What What's do you think that? of that? What do you think? It seems to be starting to rain again. Well, maybe a little bit. Okay, so what we've got here, you can do this, you just have to be careful, is uh, this is a 240, so it's good. But, well, I've got this wire going into, uh, right into the dryer socket. So basically what we're doing with the generator is back feeding through the dryer socket, which is 240, powering up the panel. Now this generator is not big enough to run the entire house, however, we can run individual circuits. So the, the circuits are important to us. Kitchen, uh, internet router, um, master bedroom. We can just pick and choose and leave the rest of the house. Um, dark. Dark, <laughs> right. The, the most important thing though, don't forget this, is that before you do this, you have to switch off the, the, the main breaker power coming into the house. That's absolutely critical because you'll be feeding power back into the grid and if we have if got uh, electrical workers up there you, you're energizing a line that they didn't know was energized so i can't exp express how important it is to do that so if you don't know what you're doing you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do it yeah if you don't understand so far i probably wouldn't recommend it so you just have to be very careful with that okay so let's hook everything up i think it should be ready to go always something exciting going on on the homestead so today's video didn't turn out exactly how i had planned but yeah, you just kind of have to go with it. So uh, the next few videos uh, will be kind of a vlog format, and we'll just it'll just be what's going on. Um, it's as simple as that. So uh, you'll have to stay tuned for the next <laughs> next part tomorrow, and uh, hopefully we can get the power up and running and back to the shop. Um, I think I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun, and uh, um, I, I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So. Well, uh, thank you for everything, and don't forget to click the thumbs up, and uh, certainly keep us in our prayers. It's a it's a challenging time with all of the snow and ice. Mrs. W and I, we had to. I was uh, edit halfway through the edit of this video, and uh, she came into my office and told me that um, her water was leaking into her office upstairs through the roof, and we had such a bad uh, ice dam um, that it took us uh, uh, both of us. We had to go out there with hammers and shovels and couple hours to chisel all that off to to keep the water from backing up but we got it done and uh we're just grateful to have um to have each other to help one another to do those type of things and uh boy it really makes you think about the importance of architecture proper alpine <coughs> architecture when you live in this environment um it's just so important so all right well thanks for watching and we'll uh, we'll see you guys uh, we'll, we'll continue this video tomorrow and we'll see you in the next part